Hello and what's up there guys and fellow minecrafters Welcome to another episode of the Hill Savages um, Today we're going to do a piece of the, of the, the wall um, As you can see there's um, I did quite a bit of the wall already um, So I'm going to expand it and detail it as well Because only placing blocks is very boring As you can see we're going for uh, uh, a defense type of thing With uh, a lot of logs as defenses because logs are cheap uh, these hill savages can afford stone walls and it works it is very effective with these these are like spikes um, so yeah let's get started um, let me see where I was oh yeah almost here um, I have these okay let's start we just need one um, oh yeah set speed one all right um, so yeah um, the, the Basically, it's just just pay, placing these logs and um, being sure the the height and looks good because that's mainly the hardest part that you need. To, um, yeah, you want every everyone to be a different height and it has to come out. But you'll see it. We, we get it. We need to get around this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit sick, um, but yo, well, it's win almost winter. It's cold, so yeah, time to play more Minecraft. Oops. Uh, yeah, I got shaders working. They work pretty fine. I got a really decent f frames per second. Yeah, very cool. I have a lot of mods on shaders, Optifine, and I believe I even ha have uh, camera studios on that. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let me put the sound a bit lower. Um, yeah, this is a bit different. I'm going to edit this. Um, it looks a bit can look a bit weird I'll edit it later for now we're just just placing the, um, the, st uh, the logs actually as defense system um, you can go like in outwards and inwards um, this is outwards uh, and this would be inwards um, I'm doing both of them because uh, it gives some depth as well like uh, you have one two three layers right now so uh, it adds a little depth, even if you can't really notice it. So that are the things I like to do, just just little things to make give it give it more detail. Um, making it a bit higher here. Um, probably want a gate here, so I'm leaving this open for now. Um, I'm not very sure how to do the gate yet. Um, so what I do when I don't know what I'm going to do with the build is I'm just going to do like the size. Mm, yeah. Um, so I think uh, the the gate could be like this, um, and I'm just leaving it open for now. But I have the idea now how it's going to be, so I can continue with wall, which is a bit different because it's in this wall, uh, wall thing. No wall. I mean hill. Whatever. Um, Need some grass. Could do this wood world in it or uh, fox saw, <laughs> but I'm a bit lazy sometimes. Sometimes it's uh, better to do stuff with by hand than with fox saw wood in it because you can you get to use it, you get used to do it. It's very useful when you're starting a style. You shouldn't really copy stuff. You could should just build everything with hands. Uh, so r right now I want some more depth. So because these three were the same height. So I'm just adding. We're going down now a bit because they are very high here. Um, mm, yeah, mm, going to stop here, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure if I want a wall all around, but the idea is to have like a layered system. So uh, we're going to make parts and build around these things. Uh, we'll destroy some of the terrain. Um, because you can't really build on the terrain right now it looks very cool but just not really useful so we're going to edit a bit on some points you'll see that later um, we did a bit of work on the thing as well I'll show you in a second first this thing um, yeah mm. This is hard when you're going like uh, up. 
I was do one, two, and then we're one difference, or two, I mean two difference, and then one down. Um, gives a good effect. Probably doing that here as well, all the way around. So you have um, this nice wave in it, which looks looks really good. Just a little of that. Um, yeah, I'm needing to higher it up as well because otherwise it's not really a wall anymore. Um, yeah, I like that. It looks pretty good. Let's let's get to the detailing. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you what we did. Um, let me see. Uh, here we marked out already. You see, we added uh, a few trees, custom trees. Um, I made this uh, building. There's a little farm and a little outcome. I really like it. It, it has a tower merged into the building, and it's like I don't know what it's going to be yet. For now, it's just a house. Um, maybe for the general or something like that. It has a little interior. Um, yeah, just cozy. This is a technique I really like to use. An item frame with a redstone torch and then a, um, um, an anvil in it. Really works good. I'm going to do a video about that maybe. Uh, so yeah, we ordered the market store here. Um, another market store here. Here's a wall bolt because um, to connect. This is not done yet. <laughs> I didn't made it. I think um, Ty's did. It's probably going to be a market or so because these are very uh, trade, trade ish. Um, as you can see, we got a lot of little details all around. It looks, it's really becoming something very cool. Okay, <laughs> so let's get back to the the wall thingy. Mm. Let's start here. Uh, so what do we need now? We need a uh, different type of wood, oak wood for now. Um, spruce wood stairs and slabs. We need uh, cobblestone walls and we need fences. So first we're going to um, like add uh, some of these. Um, sometimes might edit the terrain a bit. Sometimes just just looks good. Um, Sometimes remove it like this. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I've, I'm going to stop here. I'm don't want to do the wall wall because that's pretty boring to do. I'll do that in my own time, not to show you guys. Um, these are hard. Uh, these cobblestone walls are just randomly placed. Actually, some have cobblestone walls, some do not have. Um, try to have like two behind them. Sometimes not because I don't want to, this one because this one's very low. So I'm going to put it there. And uh, this one, this one. Uh, here and here, here. It's very random. I like to do stuff like this random uh, because this wall is fairly easy to make. Yeah, it looks pretty good in my opinion, and really realistic as well. So uh, that's why I love this this type of wall. You can only do it for the savages because all the all the styles just don't look good if you have a very rich and nice um, structure with cheap ass walls. Just not, not right. Um, I tried to have the fences different heights, so that's why I have this one two and this one one. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm going to higher this up a bit. Um, and have like this. So I'm sometimes changing. It's good to change stuff. Sometimes you didn't do it right the first time. Oh, I can do three here. Makes it probably want the tower on this side here next to the the rock. Um, this one needs one more. This one needs one lower. Yeah, I really like the project so far. I have a lot of ideas to add, and uh, we're going. We have good plans. So yeah, you'll probably see a few videos about this and a cinematic on the end. Um, yeah, the gate. I'm not very sure what to do with the gate yet, so I'm not going to start the gate here because I don't want to fail. Um, oh, that looks pretty weak actually. 
Uh, anyway. Uh. Hmm. Actually, um, in Conquest, you have a metadata for spears. I wanted to put these on top of them, but um, you need special te Conquest for it, so I decided to, to just build it in normal blocks so everyone could see it. It will look decent in, in default as well. And in John Smith, of course, because we use John Smith as well. But I'm just, just, I just prefer Conquest. Looks the best. It has the best um, sun for me. Where is this? Oh, there it is. The best sun and the best sky. So I just, just love to build and watch stuff in um, in Conquest. Mm. It's not really hard actually. It's just, just a pretty easy. Design. I don't think I don't made a tutorial on this one because someone said, "Oh, I want a tutorial." Well, I think you you can see how I made it actually and do it yourself. I don't want to, want to do tutorials on stuff uh, which is hard and not on simple things like this because it this looks good. I know, but a tutorial for it. Oh, I need need more stone. Hmm. Yeah, mm. this looks good. So just just two steps left. Um, first, we're going to change some oak wood because yeah, more detail, more depth, and we like that, as you know. Just a few, not not all. Um, yeah, the shadow is a bit failing sometimes. I don't know. Anyway. Um, mm. Just picking random ones um, doesn't really matter. It just adds more detail, and um, if you change colors like this, uh, you can um, like see the details better. So it's not only f because it looks good; it just boosts or increase in is increasing the the sh I don't know the detail in general. I guess. Mm. Don't want too much of them. Main should be dark. I, I I really like spruce wood for here, so I'm going to use that as main material. Mm -hmm. Bit changing the front and the back ones to randomize that as well, and this one, and we're done. So that looks a lot better already. So last step we need to do um, is add some some stairs on some spots, just to uh, yeah add again more detail because we all love detail. Why I'm doing this is just uh, to add some new ma new material. Doesn't really have a reason. It just looks good. Um, yeah. So um, oh, this looks pretty bad. That was it for this for this episode. Uh, I prefer to do shorter episodes. I like shorter episodes more than half an hour videos. Um, I hope you guys like that too. I prefer to do like three small ones instead of one big one. It looks better and I can do different stuff, talk about different points. And oh, that looks great. Uh, someone edited the mountain. Anyway, see you next time guys. And I hope to see you and subscribe if you haven't already. And yay! Bye guys.